Looks like the cheap ain't so cheap anymore. Stay tuned. So, here I am with the 2025 Nissan Kicks. This one is redesigned, and I'd say, you know, the styling is, is quite good, especially from the side profile, and it does look like they've gotten a, a bit more ground clearance. I'll put the figures on that up on the screen. I, I just stumbled upon this one. And uh, the interior has gotten some major improvements. Here uh, we have a really neat design on the front end. Sorry, I know it's kind of going right into the sun there. But I, I do like this. You know, this looks like an EV, and I think that we can kind of get a glimpse of what's ahead here. You know, they're probably going to go fully electric on these. What are you getting underneath the hood? Well, you got a 2-liter making 140 horsepower and 141 pound-feet of torque. And, you know, that that's not... Uh, oops, I'm sorry, I had those uh, backwards. Not really all that great, right? It's kind of... Not, not a lot of power, but enough. And you are getting some decent fuel economy, right? 28 city, 35 highway. Keep in mind, this is not a hybrid, and it's still an SUV, so the aerodynamics aren't quite as good as something like the Versa. But take a look at this one, right? So this is a front-wheel drive, uh, SV trim, kind of middle of the road. Base MSRP on this is 23680 and if you want any of the nice stuff that this has, obviously you got to do another $1,500 option. After destination and everything like that, you're at $27,000, and these folks are doing a $3,000 market adjustment on this. So now, this once $20,000 car is $30,000 <laughs> in one model year, right? And I know, okay, you could argue with me, yes, I could find like a S trim that might be a... Uh, a fleet use vehicle or something like that but you're, no dealership's going to have those and you're not going to get it and if you do find one you're definitely not going to get any discounts on them so that that just kind of sucks you know there was a a cheap car and it's no longer cheap and here we see the off-road craze continue so we have a 2025 nissan rogue rock creek right and you can see that it has a lot of the same design cues that you're gonna get on the new frontier pro 4x and it's still in that kind of desert sand color that i don't like but a lot of other people do well i mean it's not uh offensive or any stuff like that it looks like it's got a nice little lift kit you got some falcon uh wild peak tires on there pretty nice uh, I don't believe that they have any type of uh, really beefed up suspension, anything like that. But it's it's not bad. I mean, pretty pretty neat looking. You know, all wheel drive. It's got some off road modes and things like that. I am curious what the fuel economy is like, and what the price tag is like. All right. So what are you getting here? Well, you still have the uh, the 1.5 liter uh, turbo. This one's making. 201 horsepower 225 pound feet of torque that's the same as all the other nissan rogues now you've got the rock creek features right so like we had already talked about off-road modes and everything like that i'll check in a second to see if it's got any skid plates or anything underneath it but base msrp is thirty-five thousand four hundred and twenty dollars and now, after destination, everything like that, 38725 bucks. Here's your fuel economy. So roughly, you know, two, two miles per gallon worse. And, of course, you know, we've, we've got our $3,000 Crystal Fusion tire, so now you're at forty-one grand for a Nissan Rogue. Let's see what we got here. No, doesn't look like you get much in the way of... Uh, underbody protection or anything like that so this is more of a an appearance package and here is the last of the mohicans 
We've got a 2024 Nissan Rogue SV. This isn't even the cheapest one, right? So, what do you get? Well, this one does not have the manual transmission, unfortunately, so that would save even more money. You've got the uh, 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. Uh, this is paired with the CBT, right? But you do have all the kind of standard mon uh, modern safety features. And the base MSRP is $19,970 after destination $21,770. So this one is still affordable. And this is the last year, to the best of my knowledge, that you're going to get the, going to get the Versa. And that just goes along with everything, but you can, you know, blame it on a million different things, but now Nissan's aren't going to be the cheap option anymore. And that's going to be a tough situation for Nissan, I think. So they don't really have the greatest of reputation, and, and that was kind of their shtick, if you will, is they were an affordable alternative to things like Toyota and Honda and had good financing and things like that. Financing piece still might be there, but they're definitely not cheap anymore. So put in the comments what you think about Nissan and jacking up their prices and no longer being an affordable option. They're just like everybody else now, though. You know, it sucks, but it's just the way things are. Your $20,000 Nissan Kicks is now $30,000. Your $30,000 Nissan Rogue, or even $25,000 <laughs> Nissan Rogue, is now $40,000. And your $20,000 Nissan Versa is gone. So, there's your answers, folks. Nissan, they're going after that dollar just like everybody else, man. And, and I can't hate them for it. But it still sucks for all the uh, customers out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.